Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Cory Carter here. Today I'm coming with you with a little something different. I'm gonna be talking about product today, people. Product, mainly for natural hair. Now, I know what you're wondering. Cory, this natural, natural in your hair? Ain't girl, you right. It's a wig. But that's how I keep my natural hair popping. I'm going to be talking about natural hair products today. These are products that I am currently using on my natural hair um, to make sure that my natural hair stays moisturized and well protected when it's in braids and underneath my wigs. So let's get into the first one. If you want to know about these products stay tuned to this video and I will make sure I fill you in on everything you need to know comment and subscribe to my channel so you can get all to it today I'm gonna be talking about the cream of nature argan oil shampoo now as y'all know or if you don't know yet I am a hairstylist and I used to preach about not using you know, store products. Just get something that, you know, so your hairstylist has referred you to because it's a guaranteed product, blah, blah, blah. But I have been using this one uh, for, I don't know, about a couple weeks now. Um, it has argan oil in it, and I love products that have argan oil. You'll soon see that in my next few products. But this is so freight free. I use it on my, of course, my natural hair. I use it on my wigs. And it just makes it leaving smelling really good and feeling really soft. So I think this is a good product to use if you can't quite afford the salon preferred products and you want to get a good um, Walmart, Walgreens, Target shampoo. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Castor. Jamaican black castor oil strength and grow leave-in conditioner now this <laughs> this baby right here I have been using this for the back past excuse me the past couple weeks I've been leaving this in my hair after I deep condition with the next product I'm gonna be showing you guys but I'll be using this right after I deep condition my hair and I just leave it in my hair for extra 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 moisture because I don't know about you ladies but I go to the gym and I like to sit in the sauna after I work out and that sauna if you want to know more about the sauna and the uses and what to do when you're in, in the gym and how to protect your hair in the gym uh, comment below so I can upload a video talking about that but long story short you want to make sure that your hair is protected when you're in the sauna if you don't it gets dry in which in my case it got dry so i had to try to or i am still in the process of trying to restore that moisture back into my natural hair so i make sure i have extra moisture in my hair by leaving this leave-in conditioner in my hair after i deep condition shea moisture manuka honey and mafura oil Mafra Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. Now this is my baby. baby. It leaves my hair feeling so good. Like sometimes I mix it with a little bit of oil or like coconut oil or whatever to seal in that um, conditioner. Um, but even if you don't, like I don't you do it all the time. I still just use just this and it'll be just fine and it's wonderful like get it just get it and you I can't there's no words to describe how good this is um, not only is it great but it makes it even better because it's no sulfates no parabens no uh, paraffins parabens and paraffins uh, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no synthetic color, no DEA, no animal testing for those that are animal lovers. For styling products, I am currently using 
don't mind the clearance i got it on clearance at target no shame in my game but i use the carol's daughter hair milk styling putty pudding so i use this whenever i'm trying to give my curls a little extra bump or my style a little extra bump with a little bit of hold it's not too it doesn't have too much of a hold but it's just what i need for when i'm styling my hair now granted i usually just go for go-to braids or a nice little top knot bun i don't do anything too um serious to my hair you can use these on your twist outs or your braid outs i have used it for that and it's a good hold for that um but i don't do too much with my natural hair just because i want to let it grow and let it flow and i just don't want to put too much work into the hair because that'll break it off now this is just one of the many oils that i use we'll be here all day if i tell you all the oils that i'm using in my hair i actually made up a little concoction and if you guys want to know about that i can make a video about that too just comment below so this wow this has have been in my life um since i was in beauty school um and how i got this <laughs> I gotta keep it to myself but um i got this moroccan oil it's it's great for all textures of hair it's not too heavy it's very very light it gives you just the amount of sealant that you need in an oil without weighing it down and that's why i love this oil because anybody can use it curly straight bone straight super curly you can use this and it's super great for your hair and it smells super 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 good and i use this one i'm just like you know need it's a little dry and i just want to you know touch it up with a little bit of oil and i this is my go-to so love this oil make sure you get it it is my moroccan oil hairspray now i use just the medium finish i don't use the hard finish you can get that if that's what you like that's not what I use I use this for like any updos of course or curls especially my curls because it doesn't make my curls hard and I love when my curls are still loose and beach wave like and this gives us a perfect finish um, for your curls if you don't want to leave them hard as a rock because honestly who likes hard curls like that's not even cute but anyways so yes this is my go-to hairspray. I haven't been using it lately because again, I've been leaving my hair under a wig. And for these curls, honestly, when I do my wigs, I don't do too much to them anyways. I don't put too much to, uh, wigs, I mean, excuse me. I don't put too much products in my wigs and my extensions. Um, so I'm hardly using this on my wigs and or extensions, but you definitely can and it will not sway either way. Those are all my products that I am currently using for my hair. And I can comment in down below to let me know what products you like and what products maybe you think that I should try for my natural hair on my natural hair journey. Um, again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.